Dear viewers, good morning. Welcome to our special program, the Poverty Alleviation in Village. And today we are coming to the first stop of the Shanxi province. And we are coming to the Dihua community in Danfeng County of Luo, Shangluo City. And today I'm at this special street. This is the Songjing Street. And you could see the layout of the bricks and the architecture is quite unique in this place. So first let's take a look at the layout of the bricks. So on two sides you could see a different combination of the bricks. So actually that demonstrates the features of the Southern Song Dynasty and the Jing Dynasty. And also you could see a special pattern display on the windows of the architecture. On the right side you could see these windows are with Jing characteristics. So in this Songjing street you can see a perfect combination of the culture of Song and Jing dynasty. With this deep culture, and these places have um, developed its culture and the tourism. And also you could see different stores and the restaurants and shops that have been opened in this place. And some of the villages and residents, they don't have to go out to get a job. They can stay in their hometown. So first, let's visit the food streets. So what are you doing right now? I'm actually making a lamb with bread. So first I have to prepare all the specimens and so I will put spring onions on the soup and the bread. So how's your business? On a daily basis I can sell at least a hundred bowls of the pita bread. So I've been working here for around uh, six years, starting from 2014. And for this scenic spot, it officially opened to the public in 2014. So how do you feel about the changes of this place? So back in that time, we do not have a great number of visitors, but now I, you can see every day is quite bustling. So before you run your business, what did you do in the past? I used to work in other cities, but my hometown is here. I would like to come back to my hometown and to start up my own business. So I can tell right now the Dihua ancient town is developing very fast and also we have received a rent subsidy from the government. And also we can receive different kinds of allowances from the government. So you have been here for six years. Now you have to pay your rent, right? So how's your business right now? Right now you could see even though there are a great number of visitors coming here, but right now you have to pay the rent. So how do you feel about your business? Well, on a daily basis, I can sell around 100 bowls of the lamb soup. So I can earn about 2,000 yuan per day. Except for the pita bread with lamb soup, what other food you are selling? So this one is a specialty in Danfeng County. It is the Danfeng pita bread with soup. So for all of these food, we are actually making them manually. And also we are brewing the soup for hours. And also we have a special pita bread and the noodles of the Dihua ancient town. So which one is the most popular? Well, this Danfeng pita bread and soup is the most famous one. So can you share us with us some of the tips on eating this pita bread? Well, first you have to boil this with hot water and then you have to dip it with sauce. 
All right, thank you for your introduction. So with the development of the um, cultural tourism, now you could see there are many visitors coming to the Dihua ancient town. And also we have many shops and restaurants to sell food to the visitors. And these people, they can start their own business just at the doorstep of their hometown. Now you could see there were different kinds of food uh, exhibiting here, and many visitors are coming to this place to enjoy the delicacies. Now it's around like 10 a.m. Maybe it's not yet the lunch time, but still we have many visitors here, and also some of the shop owners they're making preparation. So what are you doing right now? This is also a local specialty. So you, as you all know, the Dihua ancient town is very famous for lotus root. And right now we are actually in the time of the lotus festival. We are actually collecting all the lotus root from the lotus pond. I have been working here for three years, and each day I can sell about 40 to 50 sets of the lotus. So what's the income per day? So on a daily basis, I can earn about uh, 400 to 500 yuan. It is quite crispy for the deep fried lotus. So if we talk about the uh, lotus, what's the difference from the lotus? from Danfeng County as compared to lotus from other places? Well, it's quite crispy and very delicious. Please taste it. So now I would like to uh, taste this special lotus root from Dihua ancient town. Well, it is quite crispy. And also, it is very sweet because we have very good ecological environment in this place. It's a perfect place to grow lotus. In Danfeng County, we are not only focusing on the uh, cultural tourism, and also we are developing the agriculture industry. For example, uh, we are actually growing lotus and also we're growing walnuts and also you could see some of the wine shops are opening in these places and as i have just said right now we are at the period of the um, lotus festival for all of these lotus seed and lotus root uh, all of these products can be sold to the visitors not only the visitors love these kind of products, also the locals, they would like to make delicious food with all of those ingredients. You can see the shavings in the lotus flower. I'm not sure what it is. What's that? So actually we are preparing a feast featuring lotus. So right now we have this uh, lotus festival. So how's your business? Which one is the most popular popular one? We have this um, special food. So that is the deep fried lotus petal. So for all of this food, they prepare with the raw material of lotus. So people can come here to enjoy the beautiful scenery. And at the same time, we can collect some of the uh, ingredients and prepare all of those ingredients into food. And I believe all the visitors and also the local residents will love this kind of food. So this is actually the petal of the lotus flower. It's very delicious and crispy. So how long have you been working here? 
I have been working for this restaurant for five years. So now it's the busy season. So how many visitors do we have every day? Well, on a daily basis, probably 200 people per day. And I can sell around like 20 feasts to these visitors. So that is to say you have a relatively stable income. Yes. So which dish is the most popular one? Well, the crispy lotus petal is the most popular one. And also we are working on some of uh, the sweets. And maybe the visitors would love to buy some of the uh, fresh food from the Dihua ancient town. And also we have a very famous uh, local delicacy that is the deep fried sweet potato ball. So on a daily basis, I can sell about like 50 to 60 boxes of all these like sweet potato balls. You don't have to put any extra specimen and ingredients because the sweet potato itself is very delicious. So what's the income per day? So every day I can get about 1,000 yuan. We have gained a lot of like, subsidies from the local government, and I have been working here for about five years. So in the past, I used to work in other cities uh, after the Dihua ancient town started to develop uh, the uh, cultural tourism sector. I returned to my hometown and run my own shop. Thank you for your introduction. You could see this food street is very bustling. And these local residents, they are preparing delicious food for the visitors so they can earn their living just at the doorstep of their hometown. Let's go to another restaurant and another stall. What are you doing right now? I'm actually making the sweet potato noodle. So first I will put some oil and then I will put some starch of the sweet potato. and then you put it into a steam pot. It's very fast. You can make one of these within one minute. So how many weapons you could sold for one day? Around 80. So in busy hour, you could sell about like 300 to uh, 500 pieces of the crust and the wrappers. So what about in the regular season? Well, in the regular season, maybe I can only sell 70 to 80 wraps. So later, I would like to have a taste of the wrap. All right, we are coming to another tofu shop. This is also a specialty here. You could see there were many visitors inside of the restaurant. So I would like to talk to some of the visitors. Hello. Are you locals or visitors? We are actually local residents. So you would like to visit these restaurants, right? And it is our first time to come to the Dihua ancient town. Can you give us some recommendations for the food? Well, for this shop, you can actually taste um, the sweet potato noodle and also the tofu, the tofu soup. So as we are getting the recommendation from the local residents, so I will have, want to have a taste. Also, the spicy noodle soup is a specialty for the Dihua ancient town.
点的也是这个是吗。理解，感受一下。Alright, that is the sweet potato cold noodle. Let's have a taste. So this is a specialty of the Dihua ancient town. I believe there are many food that has been made from the、uh, sweet potato. And also, you have to taste the spicy noodle because it's also a local specialty. How do you feel? It is a little bit sweet, but also spicy. I think it's a perfect dish for a hot weather. Now you could see the Dihua ancient town. They starting to develop the cultural tourism, and many people are coming to this ancient town. And all of these visitors will brought、uh, income. To the local region, and it will also help to lift the income to four or five villages around these places. And also, we found some of the merchants were local residents. They are actually bringing in fresh walnuts.、Uh, you could see this old lady; she is cracking on the walnut. So all of these are fresh walnut. Because now we are at the harvest time for the walnut, so you could see some of the people they are bringing the most fresh walnut to this old town. So I believe there were many、uh, varieties of the walnuts, and many people would like to choose to buy fresh walnut. It is very nutritious, and for the Shangluo city, it is very famous for the walnuts, and people would lo love to buy this kind of walnut. And actually, the skin is very thin, and you also have a very mellow taste of this kind of、uh, walnut. So how to preserve all of these walnut? Well, that's a very difficult question. So after we pick all of these、uh, walnut, you have to、uh, dry it for about like two days, and then we start to sell these walnut to the visitors. So we have a big volume today for the walnut. So it is a little bit difficult to sell all of those walnut. Because in Danfeng County,、uh, there are altogether a thousand and four hundred mu of、um, land to grow all of these walnuts. So, can you give a brief introduction about the walnut? And some people are saying that if you want to peel off the skin, maybe it will dye with some of the color of the walnut. So、uh, I would like to show you how to properly peel off the skin of the walnut. So what's the price? So we sold it as a package online. So twenty nine point nine RMB per two kilogram, and also we will deliver all of this walnut for free. To the buyers, and this is also a package. So you could only buy the walnuts here. You can also、uh, buy different kinds of food that have been made from the walnuts. For example,、uh, in these places, we could found、uh, some of the walnut tea and also walnut chocolate. So what is this one? So actually, this is the core part of the walnut. So can you tell which part of the walnut of this one? So it's actually the core piece of the walnut. 
It is very nutritious. It can help you to build up your body energy and also help you to calm your nerve. So this is a tea pack and we're selling it online. So why is the inspiration on developing this kind of tea? We're thinking for the core part of the uh, walnut, we do not want to waste it. And it's also very nutritious. We are thinking that maybe we could make it into tea bags. You could see we are putting um, for the date and also the walnut into a tea bag. So it could help you to calm your nerves. So also I understand there's an old saying in the ancient town of Dihua, and every household they own the land and to grow walnuts. And walnuts is actually the pillow industry in this county. So I understand many people are growing the walnuts right now. Any trainings provided by the government? Yes. And actually, the government attached great importance for the growing for these agricultural products. And from time to time, they will organize uh, trainings to the people who are growing all of these products. And they offer some instructions on how to grow all of these uh, trees and all, how to grow these agricultural products. And we all know that um, altogether in Danfeng County, there are around 510,000 mu of land to grow walnuts. It also helped to fight against the poverty in the local villages. Let's visit another shop. So what is that? So that is what we call the tomato vinegar. So actually, we consider this kind of vinegar as the um, TCM. It can help um, to cure some of the disease, especially for stomach diseases. So for all of these bottles, they're filled with the tomato vinegar. So for each type of the vinegar, they have a special function. Especially for some people, if they have some disease, if you drink or eat this kind of vinegar, it will help to enhance their health condition. So all of these uh, vinegar are made uh, from natural ingredients. We are not putting any like adamants into all of these vinegars. So as I said, um, in these places, they're very famous uh, for agricultural products. For example, the apples, tomatoes, and also the um, walnuts. And right now, uh, the Shangwu city, they're actually building different agricultural parks. Uh, for example, they have cherry block, cherry parks, and also the walnut parks. And from time to time, they will also uh, allow the visitors to come inside of those uh, fields to collect the walnuts. And by having the development of all of those um, agricultural sectors, it will also help to revitalize this town and the Danfeng County. So pretty soon we'll enter into another place of the ancient town. That is the old home of a well-known writer, Mr. Jia Pingwa. And many visitors are coming here to view some of the well-known literature of Mr. Jia Pingwa. And actually, in some of the works of Jia Pingwa, he described some of the architectures and the local customs of the Dihua ancient town. So pretty soon we will be arriving at the old home of the Jia Pingwa. So now you could see uh, for the streets, they have a um, special characteristics of Song and Jing Dynasty. If you look at the bricks, you can tell which part is from Song Dynasty and which part from the Jing Dynasty. 
And actually, for this place, it used to be a Dihua station. And for this station, it will help to integrate the culture between the Song and the Jing Dynasty. And right now, um, these places has been integrated with, with different cultural formats. And now it has attracted a great number of visitors, which can help to boost the development of the cultural tourism sector. Now we are entering to a special place. This is also a place uh, with gene characteristics. Now you could see the yellow walls, and also you have a large character, means auspiciousness, painted on the wall. So today we are at the um, Songjing Street of the Dihua ancient town. You have got the general flavor of the cultural tourism in the Dihua ancient town. And also you can witness the changes in these places and how these people march towards initial prosperity. And pretty soon I would like to turn over to another journalist and she will tell us more about the poverty alleviation in Danfeng County. So now, um, good morning everyone. Now I'm standing in front of the uh, Walnut Theme Park of the uh, Danfeng County. Uh, actually, you could see we have the walnut trees uh, everywhere. So now we are at the harvest time. And there were many walnuts in these places and actually we can uh, sense the flavor and the fragrance of the walnut. Let's take a deep breath and enjoy the fragrance of the walnut. As we all know, walnut is one of the um, four dry fruit in the world. And for Zhang Qian, after he completed the, his journey to the western region, he brought some of the walnut seeds and some of the walnut seeds were started to grow in the Danfeng community, uh, county. And the excellent environmental condition is suitable to grow walnuts. And back in the old times, especially in the Song and the Jing Dynasty, uh, at that time, there were large amount of land of the walnuts. And each household, they are having their own land to grow the walnut trees. So pretty soon we will have the harvest time for the walnuts. And now you could see a large statue to capture the story about the walnuts. In late 90s of um, 20th century, there is a afforestation of the Danfeng County. So walnut industry, walnut industry has served as the pillar for the poverty alleviation. Even though walnut trees is just a daily necessity for the Danfeng County, but still it played a key role for the poverty alleviation in this region. And right now we are at the uh, harvest time and many people are selling walnuts on the internet. And it is also a very important sales platform for Danfeng County. And right now, actually, we have a competition to sell walnuts in Danfeng County. So the mission is that in 15 days, uh, some of these sellers, they have to sell 10,000 walnuts. Uh, so first of all, the walnut itself has to be quality. And also, we have the farmers, they are working diligently to sell the walnuts.
So welcome to the poverty alleviation village uh, program. So you could download the CCTV finance channel application and every day you have 10 chances to vote for your hometown. If your hometown is listed at top 10, and then the, we will visit your hometown. So please download the finance channel and vote for your hometown. So now I'm on the way to the Walnut uh, theme park. So now you could see some of the local uh, residents uh, trying to collect some of the walnuts. He is actually um, coming here with a pink tractor. And you could see in this place, it, it is very beautiful. And some people are coming here uh, just to take a photo. So you're collecting walnut? Yes. So what's the production today? It's very good. And tree. this year, we have many walnuts. So how about the quality? The quality is very good. And also, you could see it is very large in size and also very nutritious. Um, actually, a local resident, um, 64 year old right now, and also uh, we have, I have only around like 10 mood of land to grow walnuts. So I don't have to go to other cities. I can start my own business at the doorstep of my hometown because we are benefiting from the policies uh, from the government. So uh, right now we are having a competition. Uh, that is to sell like 10,000 orders of walnuts within 15 days. So yes, that is a local competition. So can you show me where it takes place? Yes. So you are using a very traditional way to collect the walnuts, yes. We're using the poles to beat up all of these um, walnuts. And also we have a very large machine to help to peel off the skin and the crust of the walnut. So this is the walnut park. You could see there is a vast land to grow walnuts in the local place. So sometimes uh, we are using machines to peel off the uh, crust of the walnuts. And also in our village, in our town, we have some internet celebrities. And they're helping us to sell all of these walnuts. I believe this is not a difficult task for this internet celebrity to sell 10,000 orders of walnuts within 15 days. Yes, because I think the quality is very good of the uh, walnuts in the Danfeng County, and also they're very nutritious. Well, now I can tell uh, some of the trees are actually painted with a red color. And in the normal condition, we can find uh, some of the trees are painted with the white color. That is to uh, fight against the the insects and pests. So why you paint red color in all of these trees? Actually, we are we have the same kind of functions to protect the trees, and for this kind of red paint, it could help to uh, protect the trees for up to three years. So it have the same fun function with the white paint. So it can help us to protect protect the insects from invading on the trees. So actually, this is the scenario-based promotion and sales. So I can tell some of the internet uh, celebrities right now, they are 
uh, selling the walnuts right now. They're demonstrating the walnuts to the audience around China. So this is very juicy and very delicious. And please, please place an order for the Danfeng walnuts. Hello. So actually, um, after hearing your introduction, I can't wait to taste the meat of the walnut. So this is the fresh walnut. Well, it is very delicious. It is not oily, but it is still very juicy, very tasty. And also I can tell a banner behind you that is the um, selling 10,000 orders within 15 days. So I think four days to go to complete the test. And right now we are finishing 6,000 orders. So we should have completed the test uh, earlier. However, in recent days, uh, we have a uh, heavy rain. So we are not able to sell the walnuts in the past two days. That's why we are lagging behind right now. Because we have to pick the most fresh uh, walnuts. Well, it is not because no one is placing orders. Because of the weather condition, we are not able to pick the fresh walnuts. So how do you feel about the task? That is the 10,000 orders. Well, we are still feeling very confident. Because in these two days, this, the weather condition is getting better. And, uh, and we just uh, uh, started uh, the live streaming today. Well, within one hour, we have already sold 300 orders. So we are actually selling these orders to um, at the uh, TikTok platform. And for our public account, so we have around like 1.5 uh, million followers. So today, we two are working together to uh, sell the walnuts. So I can tell there were many uh, mobile phones here. So you two are actually selling the walnuts together. So today we are selling the um, walnuts with the uh, green skin. So that is to say we are actually picking the most fresh the walnuts from the trees. So if we sell this to the audience, so we will peel off all of the skin. So how you peel all of these skins? So we are using a mechanic way to peel off the skin of the walnut. We are not adding any like adamants to all of these products. All of these walnuts are very nutritious and very good in quality. Please do not hesitate to place an order. So are you two local residents? Yes. And this year, because of the epidemic, many agricultural products are not able to sell out to other cities. As part of this county, we would like to make good use of this um, internet platform so that we can help the whole village to march towards a moderately prosperous society. So do you want to open up a physical store? Well, one of my friends uh, used to open a shop. But still, we do not have a large population in our places. So I think if we choose an internet platform, it will be much easier for us to sell all of those walnuts. That's right. If you are only doing the business inside of the ancient town, only you can only serve around like thousands of people. But it is much different if you decided to sell these walnuts 
on the TikTok or the internet. So actually, I would like to uh, say hello to all of these uh, followers on his uh, TikTok platform. Good morning, everyone. It's very honor for me to join this live streaming hall. Uh, I'm the reporter from the Shanxi Broadcasting Station. And today we are actually uh, in a special program, the Poverty Alleviation and Village, that is organized by the CCTV Finance Channel. And today we are coming to the one and only theme park of the Walnut. Uh, actually, Walnut is very famous, especially back to the old days when Zhang Qian con convened his first journey to the Western region. And we all know Walnut is one of the featured products in Danfeng County. So I hope all of you can place an order so that we can help with the poverty alleviation in the Danfeng County. Thank you. And on the other side, you could see some of the other products that have been made from the walnut. So this one looks very like um, Pu Er Tea, a very beautiful color. So what is it? So this is also a, um, a special tea that is made locally, and it is made from walnut as well. Well, from my interpretation, it's actually um, the part that is in between the, the meat of the walnut. So actually, you could use this piece of ingredient to uh, make the walnut tea. For this tea, we have um, the walnut and also the kochi berry and also the date. So I believe this tea is also very nutritious. So this tea will help to calm your, calm your nerve and also to purify your skin. All right, I would like to have a sip. Well, it's just like herbal tea. Well, very rich in flavor. Uh, I can even taste a little bit of sense of the TCM. So what other teas do you have? And this one is actually the walnut oil. And we are not putting any adamant to this walnut oil. It's also very rich and natural. So what is the difference between this walnut oil as compared to other kind of oil? So this is actually uh, a specimen, just like a sesame oil. So you're not using this to fry a dish. And also you have very good uh, function. It can help to improve, uh, improve your brain. And also it could help to revitalize the energy in your body. So what is this one? And this is the... Uh, Walnut with date. We are actually um, growing the dates as well as the walnuts locally. So please have a taste. I'm almost full because today I have tasted so many different kind of local delicacies. Well, it is the uh, local specialty from uh, Danfeng County. And this is a very famous package that is the daily nuts. So people who are on a diet and on a daily basis, they will have a taste of a package of nuts. So you could see they have some like uh, dry fruit and walnuts and berries. So it is a combination of different kinds of nuts. With today's interview, I can actually feel the beauty of um, walnut in 
done for counted, will not have bring prosperity to this county. We have a daunting task for the poverty uh, alleviation. I hope the different the regions they could act in accordance to the lo the local conditions so that they can find their own way for the poverty alleviation. And especially um, for Dan from County, they're heavily relying on the walnuts. And um, so I will turn over to um, another journalist so that she can bring us to a beautiful scenery of the Lotus Pond. Good morning, dear viewers. And today we are actually at the uh, Lotus Festival of the Dunfern County. And this year, it is estimated that uh, we will be receiving 1.3 million visitors. And today, it's, uh, we are at the um, Lotus Pond. So let's enjoy the beautiful scenery of the Lotus Pond. So I would like to board on this boat so that we can enjoy the beautiful scenery of the Lotus Pond. So now we are coming into the Lotus Pond. Uh, you can see this place is, is surrounded by large mountains and there are many lotus flowers in these places. So on every July and August, you could see uh, we have this lotus festival. And also we could see many like, lotus leaves. So let's get inside of this lotus pond to enjoy this beautiful scenery. Now uh, you could see inside of the lotus pond, you could see some of the lotus flowers, they're still booming. Hello. So where are we coming from? We are traveling from Xi'an city. So we are just coming here for a short vacation. You can enjoy the breeze and also the beautiful scenery. It's very comfortable here to have a short vacation here. We have just completed our tour and we are going back right now. You can see there are many people, they are actually enjoying the beautiful scenery in the Lotus Pond. In 2014, Danfeng County started to develop the cultural tourism. So this young lady, she's actually one of the pioneers in developing the cultural tourism. So before you will come back uh, to the Sydney Spart for work, so what did you do? I used to work in Xi'an City, and after we built the tourist site in Danfeng County, I returned to my hometown, and also my husband has a job in this scenic spot. So we do not have to leave our hometown, and we can attend to our families and take care of our pa parents. So the development of the cultural tourism in Danfeng County actually created a lot of jobs. Uh, for the local residents, and these people do not have to go to other cities to find a job. And also there's a big change in our income. So actually, um, in the past, when we are working in other cities, uh, we do not have a lot of savings. Can you tell us more about your incomes in recent years? Well, in the past, uh, if we are working in other cities, on a daily basis, we can only earn like 70 to 80 yuan per day. And here, uh, we are working really hard, but um, every day we can earn about like 100 yuan. Uh, so I believe each time when you are doing your job, you are paddling, you may have to share some of your experiences with the visitors. Yes. And sometimes they're asking a lot of questions about the lotus, the knowledge about the lotus. And sometimes we will uh, make 
delicious food out of the lotus seed and lotus roots. And the people can enjoy a feast of the lotus. So you may uh, realize there were some of the stalls and the restaurants alongside with the food street. So please share with us some of your uh, recommendation. Well, I would recommend the cold lotus uh, slices or ribs with lotus and also you could uh, have a bowl of lotus powder. All of these are very famous in the Danfeng County. Uh, right now we are actually turning the lucid water and the lush mountains into invaluable assets. We are offering a lot of ecological appreciation to the visitors and also we can provide some of the local delicacies to the visitors. So here I can see a stone bridge. Uh, can you tell us more about this bridge? Well, actually, uh, this bridge is designed for uh, couples, meaning that if a couple are coming to this bridge, uh, they can tide over uh, difficulties and they can live a happy life to the end of their lives. Now you could see it um, in this pagoda and in the bridge, and many people are resting uh, on the bridge. And actually, I also want to um, experience the uh, paddling of the boat. So can you show us, uh, show me how to paddle? It seems very difficult, but still, I would like to have a try. So if the boat is running on the left side, you have to paddle on the right side. So actually, it requires a special technique for the paddling. So it takes me around like one week to learn how to paddle. And actually, there were some like professionals that are coming here to provide some training. So I started to master this technique for the paddling. And you have to strike a balance when you are paddling the boat. Well, it's a very uh, towering work, especially in summer. Uh, 